What the f is this thing? Hey guys, Ambulance Show 2019. They're racing motorcycles outside. I've got dirt in my eyes and it's awesome. We've got a new sponsor this year. It's Kiriakin. And we are here with some fellows that have built this crazy machine that I'm still trying to figure out, so we're gonna to talk to him about it. I'm uh, John Galvin, I'm a social media manager. I handle basically all of our communications, so corporate and social, PR, all that kind of good stuff. Jake from the Flying Dutchman Company. And I make things. I make, that's perfect. I'm David Kroig. And Kroig. And Kroig is? Cafe Racers of Instagram. There we go. I wanna to talk to you guys about this motorcycle. Who built this thing? David and Andrew brought the bike to me about a month ago. Um, I was finishing up a Land Rover job. And so we got started two weeks ago. Um, two weeks ago. So who came up with the concept? It was you? Or? So David came to me with a, a concept sketch. It's a Bosusoku Japanese chopper. Who's got the Japanese in them? No. It's you. Okay. <laughs> no. Makes sense. David came up with it. Uh, Jeremy Lacey, Downshift Studios, came up with a drawing. And so I just took it from there. So I made an aluminum body Toyota pickup truck. I cut the front apart uh, with a hammer form that I already had and spliced it together. I had some tooling that would speed up the process, so I made the front. So this is like... It looks like a Hummer girl kind of your... Yeah. You know? yeah so yeah, this yeah. is influenced by like 1947 Willie's Jeep, yep. you know, um, but it just worked well and fast. Okay. And that was very important if we're going to pull yeah, this off. I can see it. Fast. Um, timely. Yeah, exactly. Timely. All right. So we put the seat together, shipped it, then I started working on the sissy bar and, okay. and all that stuff. So today's Saturday. I, I bought the metal for this okay. on Tuesday, and Wednesday night we loaded it in the van. And so I'm, I'm like six two ish. I can stand upright in the van, yeah. but as we're pushing it in the van, it breezed on through. We got so lucky. But yeah, I used uh, some Hammer Fab Crater Maker little accents all over the bike. The whole time I'm asking, I'm thinking is, wait, why only two weeks? They said, I'd like to go to, you know, we'd love to go to Handbuilt. So it was like, I'm willing to hustle. And this is also a working progress. Yeah, we're not done. This is Aren't the best I could do in Aren't two weeks. Off. Yeah. You tied in, you managed to tie in some Kiriakin stuff to it, right? Yeah. This partnership, collaboration, whatever you want to call it, kind of made sense to us because it's why we're here, man. It's what we do. We, we provide parts so riders can make the bike their own. We didn't have any any input into the design. We wanted to give them the parts, let the looks of the parts lead to their vision. I mean, we gave them our newest line, the Dillinger line. That's what we wanted to kind of focus the build around. Okay. Um, and uh, it's kind of got an industrial aesthetic, a little bit of a rugged look. And this will bolt on to? This actually, it's custom made. So this is just the backrest portion right. of a right. sissy yeah, bar, yeah, yeah. Okay. of a larger sissy bar. So okay. made for Sportsters, Dynas. Right now, it's pretty much available for Harleys. Anybody with a little skill can get it to work on anything, pretty much. Okay. But as far as if it's for a specific fit, we're looking at Harleys, pretty much. Yeah, so this is our first line where we kind of outsource the design and we leverage Dave Mucci, who's obviously familiar with your audience. Uh, yeah. Super talented dude, really worked hard on the design. We dialed it in with him and uh, just launched it literally about four or five months ago. So this is kind of the the project that was surrounded by Dillinger, but then they also managed to incorporate a couple of our other products like the Kellerman line, you got the Addo lights, uh, these little turn signals are great. I, thought th I was afraid to push it. They, don't, it. Don't be scared, they're just bright. I so, do love these. I do these love things These things are super tiny, yeah. super clean, incredibly bright, man. So you look at them, you'll be seeing amber dots for about a half hour or so. But no, we just wanted to give them the parts ultimately, and we wanted them to take their vision way beyond anywhere we could. I mean, that's what we leverage them for. Our job is to help average riders make the ride their own with a few bolt-on parts. And we don't build bikes, so we let them do that. We left it up to the experts to do that, and this is what we got. And, uh, so are you happy? Incredibly happy, man. All right. Uh, to touch on that a little bit, we wanted something that was gonna be talked about, man. You know what I mean? We wanted something that was going to invoke emotion. You know what I mean? We wanted something that you're either gonna love it, hate it, fall somewhere in between, maybe. And uh, the response we're getting this weekend is that the majority of people are absolutely in love with it. It's wild. It's still built to rip despite the wild styling. You got your tracker elements. Why aren't we out there on the racetrack racing this right now? Uh, it will be eventually. Okay, eventually right, it right, will yeah. be, man. But, I want to uh, see someone flat track the Bozu bike. I've never really seen that. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of people would. And that's, yeah, yeah, totally. Ultimately, it's like, again, we, we just wanted to give them the part, serve it up to them, and let them run with it. And uh, honestly, they did an absolutely fantastic job. 
Well, be I like it. the way it turned out, man. I like it. I would say so if I didn't. As yeah. soon as it pulled in, I liked it. I was like, oh, that's cool. And, and I didn't good. even know you had done it. I didn't see that part. I've been too busy this last it's week. It's going to have so. some yeah. legs, too. So yeah. the cool thing about this is, like you were saying, this is phase one. It's going to kind of take some shape over the course of the next couple months. We'll have a new unveil in a couple months out west and uh, put a wrap on it, do a little social thing where we're engaging the audience, trying to get some input, see what kind of style they're they're into if that'll lead our direction any specific way but uh what are we calling it it's called curry sauce hashtag curry sauce k-u-r-y sauce i get it i get it because what i was going to ask is like you guys typically build harley parts right that's what the company was founded on okay to so be honest yeah. you build harley parts but we've got this, this <laughs> japanese, japanese influence yeah. motorcycle right right and then we've got Kuriakin name, which yeah. to, to, the, to the American ear sounds... The first people think it's a Japanese name, yeah, you know, yeah. and we're telling them we're from Wisconsin. That alone is a conversation starter in its own right, but... And you're 30 very years. Very relatable. 30 years this year, right. yeah. So, I mean, That's we've been cool. around. And you're right, we did start primarily around Goldwing, yeah. Harley-Davidson bikes. Okay. Uh, over the developed. course of the last five to six years, you know, our product development took a little bit of a detour, started branching off, attracting new styles of riders. You know, we're still catering to that 50-year-old guy who wants to chrome out his bagger, but we also have taken a liking to the inspiration that's surrounding the builder community around here, and that's something we want to be part of. Yeah. It's something we know is going to inspire the next generation of riders. That's why we're here, man, you yeah, know? Gonna, and that's why we partnered yeah. with Croy with because they have a vision that, uh, you know, is very inspirational to a lot of riders out there, and uh, they can aspire to be like them with their own builds in their garage, you know, and that, well, that's well, what we're here to help well, them. Are you, you've, in my opinion, you hired two talented dudes yeah. who, who have a vision of what they're after in, in their own right, Absolutely. and this is a cool bike, and obviously when I found out about the Kuriak and uh, uh, LEDs and I saw these, yeah. I thought they were so cool. cool. They're doing they're really great. well for us. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to find anything smaller, and honestly, I don't know if you're going to find anything brighter than these. They're, yeah, no doubt. They're crazy. We also had a lot of help, too, from other brands. We had some, some of our friends, Mustang Seats, banged out this killer king, semi king and queen. Uh, short timing, but they nailed it. Jake, of course, did the pan. Got our friends from V&H stepping up, RSD with the tracker wheels and, and controls up top. Fox I mean, suspension. it's really kind of, it shows how all of these brands' parts can be used cohesively in a build. Yeah. yeah. Wild or not, whether you want, wherever you want to take it, you know, we, we try to just have our stuff blend in as, as much as possible with whatever vision you guys have, so. We're about 45 minutes outside Minneapolis. These guys are in a backyard, you know what I mean? We noticed they were using some parts on previous builds of ours, and it's it's like, well, let's take it a little bit further. Yeah. Let's do something from the start and go ground up with the thing. And uh, the XR platform doesn't look like an XR today, but by the end of it, it's still going to rip like an XR. It's still going to be able to go out, thrash it around, rip it around, and uh, have some fun with it, man. That that's what we wanted out of it. We didn't want we didn't want to put any input in, dude. We wanted David and and Jake here and and Andrew over there. We wanted these guys to just run with it, and that's uh, that's what we did. We couldn't be happier, man. Well, dude, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked you guys brought it. I want to see it finished. Yeah. I want to see I want to see some, some crazy paint. There's talks of uh, you know we're from Minneapolis, so maybe a Prince bike. Yeah. You know, yeah. Something inspired I by that. See that? That's a lot right. Of sparkle, yeah. and then getting sideways in the uh, dirt. You the know? bass boat glitter purple. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate yeah. bringing it out. Yeah. yeah. We'll see, we'll, Thanks, we'll definitely see you next year, yeah. right? Absolutely. All right. You got to bring something too, man. That's good. That's something. Some crazy shit that comes out of your head.